I'm excited to see what the next 10, 20, 30 years look like. 50 is the new 30, of course. <laughs> well, the campaign is called New 50. Um, and the reason I got involved with it is because I recently turned 50 last year. My wife turned 50 a couple of years ago, even though she looks 10 years younger than I do. Um, and Jill, my wife, uh, would was very adamant about uh, getting her mammograms and early screening for breast cancer. She would go every year. And five years ago, the results came back positive and, you know, it's been a tough five years. Thankfully, she's cancer-free now. Uh, but as everybody knows, when you reach 50, uh, a colonoscopy is something that you just have to discuss. I put it off. Jill would remind me to um, set up an appointment. I kept putting it off because I didn't want to deal with all of the things associated with colonoscopies, like the, the prep and the discomfort and, um, you know, missing time from my schedule. Everything in my life is, is based on the things that I find important. And for me, the most important things are my family, um, my faith, my, my friends. Um, those, those things are ultimately the most important to me. I love my career. I love playing and singing and doing Broadway and making records and all of that stuff. But if you really think about it, um, you know, when Jill was diagnosed with breast cancer, everything stops. Nothing really matters. Your health is is paramount, and and, and we have to be proactive uh, in this. And this is an invasive form of screening. Uh, you know, a colonoscopy that it. You know, even somebody like me who's so aware of the 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 terrors that are associated with cancer, I still was putting it off. So when this came around, I said, you know what, I need to back this thing because so many people die from it. One in 23 Americans are gonna be diagnosed with colorectal cancer, um, and people are afraid to get a colonoscopy as, they, as I was.